Where are you? Do I have to wait forever before you show up? Hey, listen, I don't like things like this, right? Just come here. I have more important things to do. Hey, shh, young man, I don't take nonsense from any man, right? I need you to get here, please. What nonsense. Don't you think that was too harsh? I've told you to stop being harsh on men. It scares them away from you. Hey, excuse you. You see, those men, they are just nothing. Whatever they are getting from me is what they deserve. Oh, come on, look at me. I am beautiful, classy, and sassy. Moreover, I'm from a wealthy home, so they won't stop flogging around me like bees to honey. Come on, they need me. <laughs> is that not him coming? Oh, no, 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 not, not of course. That can't be him. What, what will he be doing with a, a Ricky car? Listen, that guy is super rich. It can't be him. Relax. Okay. <sighs> oh. Is that him? I don't know. Hi, babe. How are you? Hi. How are you? Are you the guy I'm supposed to meet here? Oh, yes, of course. Alex. Car? Oh yes, that's my car. Oh my god. Toyota Camry. Shut up. You mean you you own this? Yes, that's my car. This is not the Alex on Facebook. It's me, Alex, Facebook guy, yeah. So, so, so you you own you lied to me that you're a big boy. But I'm a big boy. Shut up, you're not a big boy. I'm a big boy. How can you come here with a ricketty car? You stood me for 30 minutes. I, I, only for you to appear so cheap. Cheap? With this Ricketty car. This is not Ricketty, it's Toyota Camry. Of oh my goodness. Ricketty? It's not called Ricketty, it's called Toyota Camry. One more word from you, I will slap you. Oh, I'm sorry. But it's Toyota Camry, it's not Ricketty. Can you just stop? You should have oh just asked him politely why he kept you waiting, not shouting. Can you just shut up? Shut up! Vanessa, you know I don't date this kind of thing. I don't date broke boys. I am a big girl, so I go for the rich. All right? I'm um, sorry, can we go out for lunch now? What? Can I take you out for lunch? I said one more word from you, I will get you arrested. That's it. Arrest? Shut up. I don't have any business.
Wait. Is this not Alice? Oh, hold on. So why is it dressed properly today? That this guy is disguised the day he came to see Tracy and I. Oh my god, this guy is made. Fuck, my friend messed up. Eh? Only stay this girl to, to calm down. Adjust yourself, you will not hear. No, no. Oh my god, now look at this guy. No, 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 no. Tracy needs to hear this. What's up, babe? Hello, Tracy. I'm fine. How are you? Babe, where are you? Oh, I'm, I'm at the plaza where I went to pick things for my mom. Guess who I saw now? Who? The Alex guy. Where's Alex? The guy your Facebook lover now. Oh, um, Alex with the Ricketty car? <laughs> yes, Alex with the Ricketty car. <laughs> so what is he doing at the shopping mall? I saw him at the plaza. Girl, that guy is made. You won't believe what I saw today. I mean, why can't this poor guy respect his poor ass and sit down? Shopping mall is not for the broke people. You need to advise me. Alice is not broke. Alice is thinkingly rich. You mean Alex? You cannot recognize the same Alex. Finish her, please. Tracy, Alice is made. I, I know the first day you put made, he came with a rickety car. But that is not the car I saw him with today. Alice is made, believe me. Uh -uh. Let me tell you, forget about what you see on the social media. Alex is broke. And that's final. Tracy, what I'm saying is that this guy is made. I don't know how to explain this to you. I wish you were here right now. You would have seen this guy. This guy is made. He's thinkingly rich. I mean, from his dressing to the car he came here with, he smells very nice. V, you are my girlfriend. And you know I don't play with things like this. Are you sure of what you're saying? Will I be lying to you? Will I be lying to you? I'm very sure. You really need to face this with this guy. You really need to face it with him. Hmm. Don't say. Wow. Alex is rich. Babe, I'll call you back, please. He's rich. Maybe I should just send him a day. No, no way. This is just a prank. Alex is not rich. It can't be. Never. Oh. V wants to play me. But I'm, a, I'm, I'm the best at this. Oh. Babe, you need this boy back. How? Well, we've already moved on with our lives. What do you mean by how? Are you not a fine girl? Find a way around it. Find a way around what exactly? Tracy, you don't need to miss this guy. 
You guys have things working out for you on, on social media. She needs to get his attention. Find a way to get his attention back. V, I cannot do what you are asking me to do. As a matter of fact, I can't go back to him. Not after all I've said to him. No way. Why are you being positive? You guys used to be social media, Facebook lovers. You used to tell each other sweet, sweet things. Not until you, you decided to miss face to face, which you spoilt. The same reason I can't go back to my vomit. Please. You know where things started getting sour. So go back and right your wrong. But girlfriend, this time around, mind your utterances. Deal with your temperament. It has done you more harm than good. Yes, so stop. I can't do what you're asking me to do. My goodness. I called this guy names. I even gave him a nickname. Alex with the Ricketty car. You know it's not possible. He's not going to accept me. So let's not try. Please. As a consigned friend, and a nice one at that, you need him back. Come on, he's a nice guy. I don't think he will want to have anything to do with me. I messed up. Girlfriend, there is no harm in trying. All you need to do is swallow your pride and talk to him. If he truly loves you, I promise you he will come around. Oh? You think so? I know so. Can't. What happens to my pride as a woman? My friend, go get that pride and call him. What pride are you talking about? Call him on phone, please. V. Tracy. Hello? Hi, Tracy. How are you? I'm fine. You called me today. It's going to be a good day. Where are you? Why? You want to see me? Yes, I... I want us to see. I... I, I want us to talk about something very important. Alex, please. I am sorry about the other day. I am sorry about how I spoke to you. I was angry. Um, it's okay. Uh, I'm not upset with you. So, how do we see? Okay, uh, come to Chief Equipment Close, House 34. Yes, do you live there? Are you home now? Uh, on my way home, I just went to pick up a few things. Okay, that, that's fine. I'll be right on my way. All right, see you later. something more befitting, you know, mm -hmm. something to impress him. Mm -hmm. Mount coats that will coat your tongue when you get there. Whatever. My friend leave my house. I'm going to work. I know you're going to call when you come back and give of me the juice. Of course, of course. That's my girl. Thank you. See you. Whatever. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. 
get those things from her. I'm expecting someone today. Okay, sir. Her name is Tracy. When she comes, give her access, okay? O okay, sir. We're good? Yes, sir. You wash the car. All right, sir. All right. Have you eaten? Um, I don't eat, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. not be staying in this kind of compound. Could it be that Vanessa was right after all? This house looks familiar. Yes! This is the same house Alex posted on Facebook. Yes, yes, yes. This is the same house he takes his pictures and videos and posts on Facebook and Instagram. My goodness. Look at the cars. Wow. Hmm. Well, I am here. I'll find out. Is this Alexandra's house? Yes, ma. Who are, who are you, please? I am I am Tracy. You mean he owns this house? Yes. The cars? <laughs> yes. Wow. Really? <laughs> Did he tell you I'll be coming? Yes, he, he told me he will be coming. Ah, okay, let me. Come, let me. Christopher, are you okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hi. I mean, Alex, I demand to know what's going on. This beautiful big house, it's luxury cars. Look at you. You, you, you. you look different from what you made me believe the first day we met. Who are you? Alex, I am very sorry. You know what happened that day was a case of transfer aggression. I am not always that angry. I'm sorry, please. It's okay, I forgive you. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, your house is so, so beautiful and big. <laughs> this, this is the kind of house I like. <laughs> you go inside, right? Yeah, sure. So, after you. Uh, Baby, I am not disappointed at all. I enjoyed every bit of it. Really? 
Oh, yes. I love you. Me too. <laughs> you know, you are a really nice guy. After everything I did and said to you, yet you forgive me. Yeah, because uh, everything that happened is in the past. Let's move on. That's fine. Mm -hmm. So, what about your girlfriend? I told you we broke up a long time ago, right? Mm hmm Yeah. What girl in her right senses would decide to leave a man like you? I mean, you're cute. You are super rich. You have everything and you're every girl's spec. <laughs> Just that you've not told me the reason you decided to pretend to be someone else. Salt. I thought you said you love salt. But it tastes good. It's it doesn't taste good. There's too much salt in it. Take more water and enjoy the meal. It's bad food, bad cooking. Bad cooking? Yeah. But I'm eating. Can I get something else to eat, please? So, what happens to the food I made? What I happens mean, to this pasta? I don't know. You probably just eat it. <coughs> no way. <laughs> We're in this together, baby. Enjoy I'm it. serious. Can I get something else to eat, please? Something like bread, butter, anything. Not this. Fresh, fresh. Classic, classic. She's fresh, she's fresh, she's classy, she's classy, she's beautiful, she's beautiful, she's tight, she's tight, she's fresh, she's fresh, she's classy, she's classy, she's all of it. She's a lady, 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 she's a lady, lady, classy lady, she's a lady, 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 she's a lady. Mama. Zuma, how are you? I'm fine. Please, uh, fetch Tracy from my room. Miss Tracy is not at home. Not at home? Did she state where she was going to? No, ma, she didn't. This daughter of mine. Anyway, the gate man brought some bags into the kitchen. Okay. They are ingredients for making tomorrow's dinner. It's a lip soup. So you can wash the meat, put them in the freezer, and the better leave. Okay, ma. Tracy will be doing the cooking tomorrow. Why you come with me to the atrium? All right, ma. Uh, what's for dinner? White rice and stew, ma. Mm. Make it yummy, okay? <laughs> I will, ma. Get me a glass of water. I'm coming. Someone that's about to write her final exam can barely stay at home to read her books. Even when she's at home, she abandons what's her state and keep pressing her phones. Why, 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 why is this girl completely different from her twin sister? I'm famished. Hurry up. Yes, sir. Um, and once you're done, go and call Tracy to come.
to dinner, okay? I was informed by Ozioma that Tracy went out. What? You mean Tracy is not in this house by this time of the night? Chief, I'm tired of talking. Eh? Her final exam is coming up pretty soon. And she's busy gallivanting around town instead of reading in preparation for her forthcoming exams. Call her now and tell her she should start heading home. Now. Ozuma. Yes, ma'am. Get my phone from the center to me. Okay, ma'am. What sent girl will still be out there at this time of the night? Tell her I want her to come back in less than 10 minutes. What nonsense? Ozuma. Let me have the phone. Tracy, Tracy. Ma, ah, here is the phone. Thank you, my dear. Her phone is not even reachable. Hmm? I think she's back. Let her come here and tell me where she's coming back from. Come back here. And what is good about this evening? Where are you coming from? A friend's place. A friend's place? A man or woman? I can't believe Tracy left this house without making the bed. The kitchen is entirely messed up. She didn't do the dishes. Her cooking is very bad. Sometimes I wonder how she was raised. Very mannerless girl. The only thing she knows how to do is have sex. That's the only thing she's good at. Nothing more. Can you imagine? Tracy, have I not told you that once it's 6 p.m. that you must be home? Daddy, something came up. Something came up. And why did you switch off your phone? Mom, I did not switch off my phone. I guess network was poor or something. I don't know. Listen, this is the last time I will ever tolerate this nonsense from you. Did you hear that? Oh, get out of my sight. Get out! Look at her. Babes, are you on bed already? for you. Me, I cannot come and kill myself. Mm -mm. 
I am just stepping in. Babes, that guy is what you said he is. Yes. Alex is my speck. <laughs> He's so sweet and hot. You know, I, I am beginning to wonder how he overcomes ladies' temptation. That guy is cute. What was that? V, we made out and it was so amazing. Yes, of course. Will I be moping at him? See, girl, I didn't come to play. I am only taking my chances, and that's what it is. <laughs> Says who? It is good to be real. I see things the way they are. Alex is so hot. So, coming. Here's the food. But let me get the water. Okay. So, V, that guy is so hot. I just cannot resist his chance. But I, I have to go now, right? He dealt with me, so I need to refuel. He sapped my energy. My friend, go. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Ha! <laughs> ah, my goodness. Alex is good. Thank God for this food. <laughs> you know, I actually had to pretend to eat enough of that nonsense I made at Alex's house. I know I'm not so good in cooking, but why wow. wow, have a choice? Delicious. I don't really know how to cook. God for this life. God for this life. daughter is still sleeping at this time of the morning. Oh. Oh, Will you get up there? Mom, I don't like this. Why do you keep doing this every morning? That's the only way I wake you up in this house. Can you ever wake up on your own? Gosh. Mom, please. Don't do this next time. I don't like it. You say you're too lazy for my liking. Ah! You're not going to greet your mother. Brother, you're busy telling me what you like and what you don't like. Like, seriously? Okay. Mom. Good morning. Oh, please, stop badging in on me. It is very uncivilized and unconventional to you, for you to always invade my privacy. My friend, shut your mouth. My friend, get off the bed and go get yourself busy with chores. Chores? Mom, you want me to do chores? What happened to Osuma, the house help? Well, I'm leaving. I came to inform you that you'll be preparing bitter leaf soup for dinner today. Mom, why are you ordering me to prepare that delicacy when Osuma is in this house? Osuma will not be home today. And where will she be going? Osuma is going with me to the eatery today. One of my girls lost the father, so she traveled to the village. I'll be needing Ozioma at the East Street today. Um, Mom, I, I can't cook. Why do you want me to make that bitter leaf soup? I can't do that, please. Can you hear yourself? No. Do you know how stupid you sound? You should be ashamed of yourself, Tracy. Oh, Mom, not now, please. Not now. I am not going to make that. I don't See? know how to do it. <laughs> Don't make that bitter leaf soup with the ingredients I kept in the kitchen and see the other side of me. 
Nonsense. Mom, you are serious. I'll just go back to sleep. I need to see mom before she leaves. Oh. Eight a.m. She's still in bed sleeping. Let her not make that bitter leaf soup for dinner today. She will have to tell me the kind of demon that has taken hold of her. Ozama. Mom, Mom, why bitter leaf soap? Why not bitter leaf? Mom, you and I know that bitter leaf soap is often bitter. So I would suggest we do a gussy soup or okra for tonight. That would be nice. Tracy, your dad wants bitter leaf soup. Don't you get it? Mom, please. I don't want to make a mess of that soup. Can we just switch? Get off my phone, please. Get off my phone. I don't know how to make bitter leaf soap. I'll just sit on YouTube and go call it. And I'll go back to sleep. Hey? Tracy sees cooking as one hectic tax. Hey? Simple make bitter leaf soup and she's giving me options. Can you beat that? She only knows how to eat food prepared by other persons. What if she gets married tomorrow? Who is going to cook for her husband? I'm sure she has not thought about that. Eh? Ah. Now calm down, please. Calm down. Don't stress yourself so you don't trigger your BP. Zuma, did you give your parents high blood pressure? So why would my own daughter want to kill me before my time? Huh? Well, she will change. I'm sure of that. You don't know Tracy. Tracy has always been like this ever since she was little. Ever since she was a child, right from childhood. She has always been like this. Always disrespectful, very saucy and lazy. The more reason she and Dorothy got into school at the same time, but Dorothy graduated before her. We cannot study in the same course. Dorothy is studying medicine and surgeon. But Tracy picked the easier course, physical and health education. Yet she keeps writing carryover upon carryover. Carryovers on physical and health education? Yes, so. Yes. Have you seen Tracy doing any form of exercise in the house? Does she go for money run? For someone that is studying physical health education, has she ever been to the gym for exercise? No. I know students and graduates of physical and health education are usually fit. Not everything about them is about sports. You can say they are sports inclined. No, no, no not my daughter. Not Tracy, my daughter. The only thing she's good at is to lazy around the house and on social media 247. That is the only thing my daughter is good at. Madam, are you and Chief should calm down? She will change. I blame myself for all this. I blame myself. I think I failed in my motherly role. <laughs> Baby, I can't wait to see this movie that will premiere today at the cinema. <laughs> I 
Why are you doing that? I like your guy. I like the music, though. What exactly do you even like? You don't like seeing movies? You don't like listening to music? You don't like sex? I never told you I don't like sex, but too much of it is bad. Oh. Yeah. Really? Say it Marriage brings together two different people with different priorities and they learn to cope with each other. Right now, you need to learn to cope with me. I just, I saw that movie because of you, okay? I said it. You don't like seeing movies. Thank God it's coming from your horse's mouth. I'm taking you home. Perfect. I want to go home so I can prepare dinner. I thought you have a maid. Why do you make dinner yourself? Yeah, we do, but let me pass your bowls. I am going to prepare bitter leaf soup. Bitter leaf soup? Mm -hmm. Alright. You should bring some for me. Are you serious? Yeah, I want to know how good you cook. Mm, okay, and I promise you, you will enjoy every bit of it. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm sure it's curry that makes it yellow. Yeah, that's what it is. Curry. Yeah. It's a little soup. That's stringy. Yellow. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. Oh, Let me add some to I'll add a little bit. It's a leaf. Call me Chef Trace. Chef Trace. Okay, so I'll cover this then later. I'll add the stock fish, the meat, and the dry fish. Preparation of this soap really drains life out of me. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it got. <laughs> okay, Daddy. So dark. Didn't you add enough oil? Yes, mom. I did. Let me test it. Can you just please enjoy this food and stop complaining? Just eat. Let me test it. me to prepare to think that a young girl like you cannot prepare a simple meal is 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 disgusting wrong with this soap. It's perfect. Don't be silly. Would you shut your mouth? Mom, why are you shutting me up? What crime have I committed by preparing the soup my mother asked me to cook? This is disgusting. To think that a girl your age cannot prepare a simple pot of soup. Mom? Did you call making of a pot of bitter leaf soup simple do you know what it took me to, to to prepare this food it took almost my life i'm so disappointed in you you are disappointed in me how mother did you even teach me how to cook you should be proud of me and be grateful that i made this really I got the teaching of this soup from a video I saw on YouTube. A cooking class. You what? Yes, Daddy. Oh. Henrietta. I knew that a day like this was going to come. When you will sit down and begin to regret the wrong you did to this girl. You were busy training the mess and left your daughter to rot away. 
Let the unfortunate man that will marry her teach her how to cook. That is if she will really get married. Daddy, I have a suggestion. Let's get some red wine. Then it can. Will you get quiet? Now my husband will have to go to bed on an empty stomach. This feels so bad. I can't believe Miss Tracy made that thing and called it a soup. What is there in preparing the Talib soup? This is the same soup I cook in this house and she eats. Everybody will go. We all go hungry this night because of this rubbish. What's your ma? Ma! Hi there. I know you're fucked out already. Hmm? But please, microwave the rice and stew we came back with. So we can have something to eat this night. Okay, um, ma. Daddy is very hungry. I can't let him go to bed on an empty stomach. Thank you, my dear. Hmm? But you shouldn't be thanking me. It's my job to cook for the family. I shouldn't put you under another stress. Hmm? Thank you so much. Huh? No problem. I'll get to it now. It is nothing. All right. <laughs> It's good to have you here, my daughter. It's good to hear from you. Mom, how are you? And you? Tell me, how is dad? Dorothy, I'm fine. Oh, dad, are you okay? You don't sound fine. <sighs> Your sister got us very worked up this night. Trace, what did she do? Your father demanded for bitter lip soup. And Ozioma had to go to the eatery with me. So I asked Tracy to make bitter leaf soup. Oh my god, mom. What did you do? You and I know that Tracy doesn't know how to cook. Yet you asked her to make bitter leaf soup. I'm sure she made a mess of it. Your dad and I were so furious. You shouldn't have, seriously. It's quite a pity that Tracy has not changed one bit. Nothing has changed about her. But seriously, she should start learning how to cook, though. What if she gets married tomorrow? <sighs> Mom, you should have thought of that when you were spoiling her. Well, she told me in confidence that she's going to employ a cook to cook their meals in her husband's house. She said that? Of course. Trust me, you can talk her into anything or even talk her out of it. I tried talking to her, you know... For her to give herself up for learning. But guess what she said to me? What? Your guess is as good as mine. She was stiff-necked. She didn't even allow me land. Tracy is just lazy. She's allowed beauty over cloud her judgment. But you're also beautiful, my daughter. You failed to groom her when she was younger. I seriously do not understand or know why, how you're going to go about this. Your overpumped daughter... Is now a colossal mess. Exactly, Dorothy. You got your mother here. Thank you for making her understand that she felt in her duty as a mother to bring up Tracy well. Mom, Dad, enough of Tracy and her troubles. I'm done with my studies. Wow! Oh, that's good news. Chief! Wow. Congratulations! Congrats, my dear. That means we'll be expecting you soon. Of course, I'll be jetting into the country pretty soon. Sweetheart, I can't wait to see you. I miss you. <sighs> I'll miss you guys. <laughs> I miss you too, my girl. Oh, All right. Take good care of yourself. All right. See you soon. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mom. Wow. Yeah, at least something to brighten up my day. So you insisted I sent the food at first to you. Yeah, it is. Your job. It's delicious, right? Are you okay? I don't like the food. I don't know, there's just something isn't right. I don't feel like eating anymore. Can, can I take you somewhere, please? Can we go to a restaurant or something? What's wrong with the food? It's too bitter. Alex, I, 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 I invested enough energy to make this soup. Maybe we should add sugar to it. my question. Please wait. Don't have this. We? You're not even sure if I would like to have the same thing with you. Well, it's okay. I decided to get it. You like it or not? Thank you. Peter Liu. How does it taste? Is this how bitter leaf soup tastes? Delicious, right? This is the real bitter leaf soup. This is better than the one you made. Listen. I'll advise you. Why don't you get off your high horse? Why don't you bring your shoulders down and learn how to cook? You don't trap a man with sex. To a man, sex is very cheap. They can get it anywhere. You keep a man with your good character. Respect, loyalty, and most importantly, the way you cook. Enjoy your food.
Why did he do that? Why did he take me to that restaurant? If not for one thing in mind. Oh, Trace. Trey, why did I even take the food to him? Not like it's my fault. He said he wanted to have a taste of my food. And I had to oblige. Trace, this is the second time he's complaining about my cooking. Oh, what do I do? I don't want to lose Alex. I love him so much, I have to do something real quick. Is this my training? Oh, forgive me, I'm fine. I didn't I didn't check the color before kicking up the call. Mom said you'll be coming back soon. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. So when exactly are you returning to Nigeria? Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Safe flight. I'll be so glad to have you around. I've missed my training. Are you kidding me? Are you for real? I can't wait to see you. Mm, it's doing great. Anyways, I've really missed my twinny and I'll be so glad to have you around. Sure, I'll see you. <laughs> bye bye. Wow. <laughs> mm. And Madame is returning. So much to talk about. It's girls' time. This is going to be fun, my twinny and I. <laughs> I guess she's the one. I can't wait to see how beautiful she is. Tracy. Oh my god, Tracy. Hello. Who are you? And what are you doing in my man's house? I am Ruby. Shh. Mm. I did not ask for your stupid name, old cargo. I see. This is how you old hats. Go around the town looking for a young man's destiny to destroy. But you've got the wrong man. Now I ask again. What are you doing Excuse in my man's house? Me? Excuse you! Excuse me! What? What is my handsome Alex looking for? In an inspired woman like you. That I don't have. Take a good look at me. I am beautiful, young, and sexy, with the best curve in town. Now I ask again, what are you doing here? Tracy. Like, look at, look at this. From where to where, you are no match. <laughs> Tracy, is this really who you are? My God, you are so rude. Now I get it. Have you gone bonkers? You call me by my name? I Get out! I should have known. You are such an untrained dog. No wonder my brother has been so skeptical about taking you to our family. Yo. Is... Is Alex your brother? 
You really think you can get my kid brother into having something serious with you just by opening your leg? Really? Uh, auntie, I, I, I am sorry. I, I didn't know you are Alex's sister. Oh, yeah? Yes. Sex doesn't give husband though. Can you listen to me? Character does. Tracy or whatever your name is, you have no character at all. And you are zero wife material. No, you are wrong. I, I am a wife material. Hundred yards. Please forgive me. I am sorry, ma. If I see you around this environment, just an inch, <clears throat> you will be sorry for what I will do to you. No, no, auntie, please. I, I am sorry. Please forgive me. It, it, okay. It's the devil. Okay. Thank you. Come on! Where are you going to? Oh, 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 you want to use this, your rude self, to come into this house? In fact, before I open my eyes, will you get out of this place? I said, get out of this place now! I am so out! Mannerless. She's so mannerless. My God. Well, Dad. I'm surprised Tracy didn't come with you to the airport. Sweetie, you look as if you don't know your sister Tracy. <laughs> when your call came in that we were already at the airport, she was no longer to be found. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Tracy. <laughs> but, Dad, yes? you look dashing as ever. I mean, if it, it just seems like you've taken a vampire serum huh? and has vehemently refused to age. What can I do? <laughs> I don't have a choice than to eat well and take good care of myself. That should be expected. <laughs> After all, mom is a chef, so she should feed you with the right meals. Oh, <laughs> I am the mother's priority. You know? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I know that. You know that I can I I, I can recall you say, saying, you know, that your family is your retirement plan. Mm, that's. <laughs> My daughter talking like his father. <laughs> oh, Dad, come on. You trained me to become the woman I am today. I mean, I am who I am because of your strict training. Yeah. You taught me to be resilient, you know, to pursue my dreams and aspirations. And above all, to never give up on life. Truthfully, if I had followed mom's pattern of training, trust me, I would have turned out like Tracy. <laughs> and we don't need true Tracy's in this family, uh, not at all. <laughs> honestly, Dorothy, I am proud of you. Oh, Dad. And thank you for not letting me down. And I will never let you down, Daddy, so much. But I've missed you, though. And I've missed home. <laughs> I missed you, Mom. <laughs> Welcome I, back. Thank you, Daddy. I'm sure Mom must be preparing all the dishes I haven't oh, had in a while. <laughs> you know what your mom can do. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see them all. I, I can't wait. Stay at home and prepare a good meal for you while I bring you down. Very important. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're welcome back, my daughter. Thanks, Dad. Mm. This whole place has changed. Like, it's opened up. Oh, uh, it's only natural. Oh, this is good. The only thing that is constant is change. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Tracy, what is wrong with you? I don't know. What do you mean by you don't know? Tracy, you know. You allow your beauty and your father's wealth to get into your head. It's not my fault that I am beautiful. I'm also a rich kid. Am I not beautiful? Is my parents not well to do? Why are you behaving as if the whole world revolves around you? What is your problem? Don't you say I think I've lost Alex? You think you've lost Alex? I've been begging you. Control yourself. Put yourself in order. Control your temperament. But no. Almighty Tracy, don't take advice from anybody. Now look at you. What do I do? You're asking me. It, yes, because I don't know what to do. I, I'm losing my mind. Tracy is your mess. So fix it and leave me out of it. But I don't... I can't come up with any idea. You need to help me. 
I need to get my man back. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Ah, uh, uh, you two, they do. What's be your problem? Really? Let's have a look. Um, did you forget that your sister is coming back from US today? That's true. Oh my goodness. I need to get going. plans to settle down with a low life, a common classroom teacher who has nothing attached to his name. Who is he? Who is, he is called Alexandra, a common, a common classroom teacher who has nothing, absolutely nothing to offer her. If they love each other and they wish to come together in good imagination, I will give them a good pass of You are not going to allow our first daughter, a trained surgeon, to end up with a low life. Herita, I am not the one to marry these girls. Chief, our daughter deserves someone better. 